I'm starting with giraffe because giraffe is my favorite jungle themed animal and cake topper as well. I mixed orange and a bit of chocolate icing with yellow fondant to achieve the perfect color tone of giraffe. I'm creating its body first and it would be a shape of cone. I have created the body and inserting a wear which is uh, about 3 cm longer than the giraffe body and will be leaving it aside. Now moving on to create its legs, I rolled same yellow fondant. I am cutting it into two pieces uh, for two legs and giving a shape of leg uh, pressing gently with my fingers. I am using fondant tool for details of the leg and attaching the legs with the body using water. To create giraffe's hand, I am rolling yellow fondant with my hand in the same way as leg but uh, this time hands would be a bit thinner and longer than the legs. I am adding details using fondant tool and attaching the hands with the body using water. The body is done, now moving on to create giraffe's head. I took same yellow fondant and giving it oval shape for giraffe's head. I am making eye hole using my fingers and fondant tool. Creating eye shape using black fondant and giving it a shape of eye using a very small rose battery cutter. Placing the black portions into the eye holes which I have already created. Adding two white portions to the eye and that would be smaller than the black portion. Now again two little black eyeballs will be adding to the white portion. And very tiny white eye details as well. I am using a half cut circle white fondant for giraffe's face and attaching it with water. I am creating two nose holes. And a mouth using 
fonding tools. I am giving the mouth a open and smiley shape. I am using a brush with water for smoothing any harsh line I created while creating the nose and mouth. I am drawing its eyelashes using edible pen, uh, I mean mm, this pen has edible ink in it. and adding blush using edible pin dust food coloring. I am creating a hole to the bottom of the head using a toothpick and attaching the head with the body to the point where the excess were being left earlier while creating the body. Now attaching two ears with the head using water, these have been created with same yellow bonded. Moving on to create two antennas uh, that will go in between two ears, I am using uh, same yellow bonded and toothpicks to hold the shape of antennas on the head. Also, two brown dots on top of both antennas. My giraffe is ready for some final touches of its patterns. Uh, I'm using orange, yellow, black gel food coloring and mix them all to achieve dark brown shade of giraffe's patterns. I am painting the patterns um, on his legs, hands, all over the body, on top of two ears. Forehead and cheeks. My favorite giraffe is done now. Moving on to create lion, I mixed pink, yellow and bit of brown fondant to achieve same color tone of lion. I am creating its body first and that would be again a cone shape but smaller than giraffe. I am attaching a small triangle shape of white fondant to the body, I mean to the neck. I am creating its leg same as giraffe making the leg shape with my fingers and using fondant tool for two details. Attaching the legs with the body using water. Now creating the hands, uh, here again same as legs, I am making the shape uh, with my fingers then attaching it with the body using water.
adding details using fondant tool moving on to create lion's head i took same brown fondant and give it a circle shape creating space for eyes using my finger and fondant tool adding black fondant then white fondant on top of the black fondant the white portion will be smaller than the black two black eyeballs that would be smaller than the white portion and tiny white eye details adding white fondant for a mouth cutting the mouth in between using fondant tool and uh, adding a bit of brown fondant for nose it will be triangle shape adding details and making the mouth open using fondant tool adding whiskers details using fondant tool now attaching the head to the body using a toothpick and bit of water i'm using dark brown shade of fondant to create the mane of the lion um i'm rolling it out in longer length and adding hairy details using scalpel and fondant tool I'm attaching the mane with the lion's head. I would be repeating the same process until the face is covered nicely with a um, thick mane. now adding two ears using same brown shade of fondant some more hairy details to the mane adding blush using pink dust food coloring and the lion is done it looks so surprised and really cute moving on to create monkey i created a oval shape of body for the monkey using dark brown shade of fondant creating two legs uh, this would be thinner and longer than lion and or giraffe i already created adding two details using scalpel
attaching the legs with the body using water using lighter shade of brown fondant for the tummy I'm cutting it as oval shape for the tummy Attaching it to the body using water. Now moving on to create the hands. I am rolling uh, same dark brown shade of fondant but uh, this time little bit in longer in length than the leg. I am adding details, toe details using scalpel. Attaching the hands to the body using water. Moving on to create the head of monkey, I am using same dark shade of brown fondant and give it a circle shape. I am using same lighter brown shade of fondant as tummy to create face and cut it in heart shape using fondant heart cutter, attaching it to the face using water. Now making eye hole, eye space, adding black fondant to the eye space adding white fondant which is smaller than the black portion two black eye dots balls and bit of white eye details i'm using another piece of light brown fondant for monkey's mouth i give it shape uh, using my fingers Attaching it with uh, the face using water. Adding nose holes. And a open smiley mouth. Adding blush using pink dust food coloring. Drawing eyelashes and eyebrows using edible pen. Attaching the head to the body using a toothpick and water. To create the ears of the monkey, first I took two uh, circular shape of dark brown fondant then two smaller circular shape of light brown fondant and attach on top of the dark brown shade of fondant. Give it a shape of ears using fondant tool and attaching to the head using water. So the monkey is done now, it's so cute. And here is the completed look of the jungle theme cake I made with 3 cute jungle animal cake toppers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching.